Hello, this is Campbell Tutorial. And in previous video, we have test scrapping data in the Eclipse already. In this video, we will implementing and scraping on the Android app with the Android Studio. Firstly, I'm going to create a new project and choosing the empty activity and name it as J sub trot scraping. And the language, I'm choosing the Java and then hit the finish button. Before we can implement the JSOP in Android, we have to find the greater JSOP dependency. And you can Google and find the in this official website. And just go and copy this one. And then let's go back to the Android project and open the build.cradle in the app level. And go to the dependency section, then place inside that. And then just hit the sync link now and waiting a little bit. After that, we have to add the internet permission in the Android manifest file for using the internet connection. And then let's go back to the activity main.xml file. So I'm going to delete this one and then I will design a new one. I will place all the control inside the linear layout. And in over here, I will put the iMac view to display the product. Because in the previous project, we have a several informations such as the title, image, price, and location, and so on. So I'm going to change this main wrapper into the scroll view so that we can scroll if it have a long content. About the design, I would like to speed up and you can design whatever you like and this one I just example So let's go back to the main activity class. Now let's find the control view by ID. And over here we have to implement JSOP in the thread to avoid app from freezing. Right now I'm going to create a new class for store all data that I'm extract from the web page. So I'm going to name it as eBay product. And over here we're gonna define the fields. Then we're going to generate the setter getter for the shortcut. You can press Alt and insert. Let's go back to the main activity class and we're going to place the scrape code inside its run method. So I'm gonna copy this code in the Eclipse. And we call the run on UI thread to update the value to the UI. 
but we not yet set the value into the object class eBay product. So let's instead a new object. Then we're going to set all the value into that object. And to display the image, I'm gonna choose the Pegaso Android. So let's go find the Gradle. So I'm going to find the GitHub. And then I'm going to copy that and paste into the build.gradle. And don't forget, hit the sync link over here. Then we're going to set the image into the image view. So I'm going to copy this code and place a holder and error. I don't want to use it, so just remove that. And for rating, we have two views. One is the tech view and the other one is the rating bar. Now we have finished implementing on this thread, but don't forget to start the thread. And now let's run this application. And I'm using the real device to debugging. Now application is launched and it display correctly. And so let's test another product. in over here all right everyone now we finished scrapping web page in the Android app I hope you enjoyed and learn something in here so don't forget give me a like and subscribe 
and the next video we're going to implement scrapping data pagination on the recycler view.